Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing ATX. Today guys, I've got a crazy episode for you guys that's gonna include two different videos actually because they're both pretty short so I'm, I'm putting them all into one. But basically guys, I'm just gonna start from the beginning. You guys have probably not seen an upload in quite some time just because fishing has been horrible here in Texas recently. Bass fishing has just been awful. Not just for me, but for everyone I know, fishing has just been terrible. No one's catching anything. Before these videos were made, I think I went out three times over this past winter break and I maybe got two bites, that's it. And they both fish just kind of nicked it and kind of went on with their business. They didn't even come back for more. So this winter break and winter in general has just been really, really bad for bass. And that's why there's just not been a lot of uploads of me fishing recently. But today guys, don't worry, we have some uploads. While it's not bass, it is actually catfish, because at least we can still catch a few catfish. These uploads are quite entertaining, so I'm gonna start with the first one. The first one is just me going out to a little pond, uh, the Lake Travis Pond actually, and I was gonna try and catch bluegill for bait for catfish. That just did not work out at all, as you guys will see. I couldn't catch a single bluegill in over two hours trying to catch them. So what ended up happening was I just fished for catfish with these night crawlers that I had that I was gonna use for bluegill. And that kind of worked out actually. I mean, I caught one, as you guys will see in the video. And then, <laughs> is when the video gets crazy. It's the second part of the video. This happened yesterday. I went out to my friend Samuel's lake house and we went fishing there, or at least we were gonna go fishing there with some of um, some of our other friends as well. And it didn't really work out. So we did all this crazy stuff, man. And we went out on this raft and we nearly died. And I'll, I'll explain it more when <laughs> when um, we get to that part of the, of the um, video because it might be a little confusing, but it was so much fun, but it was just crazy, crazy. We did manage to catch one fish, you guys will see later, but. This might be a little bit crazy video, but at least we do as a fish catches for you guys in here. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more. Well guys, things have not gone according to plan at all. The bluegill rod has not even had a hit on it. And it's probably been about 30 minutes or so now. So I thought we might as well um, try and get something out there for catfish. I mean, catfish like worms, don't they? I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. I've caught them on worms, so I'm just going to put a whole worm down there little catfish rig. I mean, it's better to try and catch them and fail than to not even try at all. So I'm going to start with this. Hopefully that'll work. I mean, I don't know, but we might get something on it. We're going to keep trying, but I mean, just really shocked. We haven't even had a hit in the bluegill stick yet, but hopefully we can eventually get one or two so they can really start fishing for these catfish. This rod, this rod just got hit. I saw it. This rod just got hit, bro. It's been like an hour. I've had no bites, nothing. And this rod just got hit. There's no question it just got hit. There's absolutely no question. Yeah, it's it's moving. It's definitely moving. It, it got hit. There's something on it, dude. Oh, I've been waiting for a bite all day. Oh yeah, there's something on it. I feel it now. There's something on it. It just thumped it really hard. I'm just gonna let it eat. I shoot it's catfish. There's something on it, man. It's thumping it real hard. Just God, don't let this be a bluegill. I'm letting it eat for a good amount of time now. So whatever it is, it should be on there by now. Still running with it. All right, I think we get enough time now. Nothing's even. Nothing's even on it now. Someone was just hitting it. Nothing's even on it. I was about to set the hook, and there's just there's nothing even there anymore. I felt a thumps. So I bet you it was just a big bluegill. Just nothing there. Worms still there. A little bit of it is. That's frustrating, man. Got it. He's got it. Got it. Got a fish on, guys. Oh, God, my reel's not working, too. It's really big. I'm waiting all day for a bite. Come on. gotta be a nice catfish not seen it yet yep there he is 
It's not a nice one, but it's a decent one. And I've been waiting all day for a bite. God, this is my first fish 2018 or 2019 actually, guys. Just waiting all day for a bite. I was actually just playing some some Clash of Clans and I saw the rod go off. Finally got myself first fish. It's gonna bite the crap out of me. There we go. Got him. There we go, guys. Ah, look at that. Whew, finally got one. Do not shake. Do not shake. Ah, there we go. Oh my God. There he is. Just a little guy, but it's first fish 2019, guys. I'll take him, man. I'll take him. He's probably only like a three pounder, but I'll take him. Let's get the hook out of him. There we go. Just a little channel cat. Not a big one at all, but it's a start, man. It's a start, I and mean, he's my first fish in I think probably two, three weeks. So yeah, really nice to get him. Well guys, there's part one. I sure do hope you enjoyed. It took it um, a little while to make just because I've not been able to edit my video a lot recently. Um, I hope it looked pretty good. I'm trying out some new stuff, my software and my camera, so hoping it looked pretty good and all. But anyway guys, it's now time to jump to part two, which part two is just <laughs> ridiculous, man. Um, basically what happened was a couple days ago, we went out to my friend Samuel's lake house and we were originally just gonna go fishing. It was actually for his birthday. Me and a couple of friends, we all went out there and um, we had a lot of fun. That's all I'm really going to say. We had, a, we had a lot of fun. I, I didn't take much film and the film I got probably wasn't that good. So I, I've actually not looked at the film yet. So I'm probably going to do a good amount of commentary over it. But basically we went out, we went out there, we, fil we fished for a little while, couldn't get anything. So basically what we decided to do, if you guys know what those little lily pad things are, like those things you get on top of, like um, you can get next to like tied up to your lake house and go on top of like, you can fight on them and all that. Basically, our plan was we saw these catfish buoys out in the middle of the lake. And Samuel and my other friend, Red, they both went out on the little um, lily pad. And I was about to join them, actually, but I stayed back and filmed for the first one. And then I was going to go on the second one. They went out there and they got stranded, actually. And basically what I had to do was I had to go, um, I had to strip down and jump into the water with a rope and swim out to the middle of the lake, probably about 100 yards in the dock out and get them and the water was freezing cold. I mean, you guys can imagine, it's been pretty cold here and it's the middle of, it's like January 5th, so it's the middle of winter. The water was absolutely freezing. Like by the time I got to my body was so numb and tired from the water. It was miserable, man, absolutely miserable. And I'll do the best I can to go through and commentate all this while I'm showing some of the clips I got. Cause I, I never got the clip of me actually doing that cause man, I was the one in the water going after them. But afterwards we ended up catching a fish as I'll show, but I really don't know how to film this. So I'll go over the clips and do some commentary, but hopefully they'll be pretty good. Hopefully you guys get a good laugh out of them. <laughs> Here's part two. All right, everybody, we made it out to Lake Travis now. We're gonna get the rods set up. We have a ton of them. We're gonna get them all set up, ready to go for catfish. We have like chicken liver and shad as our bait. We're gonna get it all set up guys and we're gonna start fishing. Hopefully we can catch a couple. Well guys, here comes this whole part where I need to start um, narrating over it because this is where it gets kind of confusing. Basically what happened was I showed that first little clip of us getting there and setting up and I showed some time lapses I took. Basically those time lapses were over about the first hour and a half we were out there. We just did not catch anything, no bites at all. Just completely nothing. So we ended up again going out in this little, um, little raft thingy and I was going to go out there in just a second but... This is kind of the first stage of what happened and how this thing turned really bad really quickly. As you'll see right here, we're starting to go out and you'll see I'm holding the rod, but this is pretty much the first stage of kind of what happened. We gave up on fishing, so yeah, we're heading out, we're heading out to the catfish buoys. <laughs> we're, 
they're heading out to the catfish buoy so they can try and see if we can get anything out there yeah it's it's turned into a complete mess guys and we have it like we have them strapped on to this to this rod right here <laughs> this is just a complete mess oh my god <laughs> i'm going out next time so i have to hold the rod for right now but next expedition i'll be going out there so this is gonna, this is gonna be fun we've kind of given up we've kind of given up on fishing at this point but still i mean this this, this is pretty fun so you guys saw that it was kind of a mess Rhett fell off the raft and i was just laughing so much because it was hilarious watching they were kind of getting drifted over into the dock well about five minutes later it was not on film but five minutes later they ended up the line the braid it was like 50 pound braid ended up snapping because the waves were pulling them off so far and they had to get back and basically what happened was Rhett jumped off the raft and Samuel was paddling on the raft all the way back. And they were trying to get there, but they just really could not move the raft, the raft enough. So basically what I had to do was I had to get, or I had to strip down, like I said earlier, grab a rope, and I had to jump out into the water and go after them. And the water was absolutely freezing cold. I mean, the water was probably low 50s at the highest. It was really, really cold water, especially for us in Texas. We're not used to water that cold. Second I hit the water, my whole body tensed up and got really, really cold, and it was miserable. I swam probably about 100, if not over 100 yards out to the raft to where it was at that point for the rope, and I got there, and I was just toast. I was exhausted. My body was extremely tense, and I was just freezing. And then my other friend, Andres, he pulled us back in, and we were okay, but Rhett ended up cutting himself real badly and all that, and it was just horrible. We were all frozen. We had to go inside and warm up for a little while, and it was a lot of fun, but it was kind of... <laughs> kind of miserable after all that happened though we went back inside like i said we got warm and we came back out and we were gonna go out for another expedition but that's when this happened my rod went off and everything changed for just a little while my fish on here we'll net it over it's here guys up. no i'm netting it right here that's on the chicken liver it feels really guys big. can someone pull me in or it feels real nice no samuel pull me in not yet well then i'm pulling myself in. <laughs> it's gotta be a good catfish dude you see it. Hey guys, I'm moving. Right, it's, it's not huge. Here. It's not huge. It's a small, it's a small blue. Actually, do you think you can fit someone? It's a really small blue. Hey, do you think you should fit me in? Yeah, I can fit this. It's guys, a small blue. Away. Small blue catfish. Oh. It's a small little blue cat. <laughs> it might, it might just be a, it might just be a deformed looking channel. Yeah, it might just be a weird looking channel. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a little guy. Where well, there we go, guys. It's just gonna be some bonus footage from my last from my last oh, video, whoa, but it's pretty whoa, cool. Whoa, whoa. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, rods. guys, this is a disaster. I don't know if I'm gonna show the other bit, but I mean, this is a disaster, guys. Put him in. Say, buddy, you're probably gonna die, but you know, no, it's all good. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> guys, this has just been this has gone completely crazy. They, right, we're trying to go out on the raft him. still, and we just caught this fish. Hey, I don't hey, even know how much we got on film. It's off. just. This is a disaster. It's been so much fun though. Push. <laughs> After that, as you guys see here, <laughs> we went back out again. Um, Rhett and Samuel tried. They were actually successful this time. They did not get out to the buoys, but at least nothing bad happened and I, the rope was fine. And after getting in the water the first time, I did not want to get in again. So I did not get in the water after that, but that was about all that happened and that was pretty much it. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit of a different change of things. This is not my normal video style or anything, but still I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just, I kind of, I had all this film, you know, and it, both videos, like they weren't gonna work out separately. So I kind of just thought I'd put them together in. I mean, in the end, I thought it worked out pretty well. Um, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you didn't think it looked good. So if it didn't, let me know. I, I'll change it for next time. Another thing to talk about too, guys, is sorry for not uploading for a little while for like 160 or so of you guys that are actually subscribed to me. Sorry for not uploading for a little while. It's just been tough. Winter fishing has just been just miserable here recently. Just miserable. But again, we've got some exciting things coming up. I think I mentioned it in one of my original outros, but you guys of course didn't hear that because I didn't make the videos. But this is kind of a little low point right now, early January, because we really have nothing going on. You know, bass fishing is slow. I mean, you can still catch fish, of course, but it's slower. But hey, I'm still trying for you guys. And really everything kind of sucks. You know, I just have to go back to school, you know, nothing looks to be exciting, but we're close, man. We're so close. Trout fishing comes January 20th. So be looking out on my channel for trout fishing videos. I might even go out and watch them stock it. So it's gonna be really cool guys. We're gonna have trout fishing so soon, man. So soon. Cannot wait for trout fishing. So, so excited. I'm sure you guys are gonna really enjoy the videos. They did really well last year, especially because we have such nice camera equipment now and I have much better editing software. The videos are really gonna be pretty legit this year, so I'm really, really pumped for that. 
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I sure do hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe to Fishing ATX for more fishing videos. Anyway, guys, again, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you folks next time back out in the water.